Now here are the three of the zaniest disc jockeys. Gee, I hate that Ooh, word. So do I. <laughs> Ooh, is. Yes. Uh, Fraser Smith from KLOS in Los Angeles, California. Johnny Walker, who is with WFBR in Baltimore, Maryland. And John Lanigan, who is with WGAR Radio in Cleveland, Ohio. Why, why are you called zany? Why are we zany? No, why are you called zany? Why are we called zany? Because we're on your show. This is the first time I think we didn't ever, say zany. You're the one who came up with ever zany. been called this. Our our publicity people had nothing to do with that yeah. at all. You know, zany is such a terrible. And we word. paid them a lot of money. You know, you paid us a lot of money to come here, and we get we get <laughs> he zany. Paid you you to got come paid here? He didn't. No. He well, did. they put me up at the Adult Friend uh, Video Motel. <laughs> <laughs> Over there, the Daffy Duck adult the friend. Vibrating beds, you know, the vibrating beds with the wino underneath. And, uh, Daffy's in, there, there's a pirate in every room. Plenty of free parking in the rear, and Daffy's there too. As soon as you walk in, say, what's happening, you know? <laughs> he's, uh, he's glad to see you. Now we know why they call you Zany. Well, Tom. You were, you were called in an article in Sheep Magazine the sexiest disc jockey in America. Yeah, you, no, can't you tell? You, you, you yeah. get pretty blatant on that show. I mean, I, I read that you said women take off your clothes and come up to the studio and they did that yeah but when i said it i really wasn't serious they just uh, did it you know how did that happen uh, I, if i knew i'd do it again okay, i'm gonna but, do it right now all right but you're on no, here and yeah, it's a very cold morning i'd only been in baltimore a uh, very short time and nobody really knew who i was and i didn't know too much about the city i'd just been there it was a cold morning i mean like below zero and snow and everything so i said i wonder if we get somebody to uh, to come up here nah i couldn't do that so there was a record out at the time called boobs a lot Right, it was a, a hit record. Well, not really a hit, but it was a <laughs> record. But it was and, pretty big. And that at that time of the morning, I'm on very early in the morning. I said, well, maybe in this cold weather, play the record boobs a lot. Maybe we can get somebody to come up here topless in Baltimore. Said, you, you know, I'm a new kid in town. What are you going to show me? So they did 150 of them in about an hour and a half's time. That's what, great. What did the uh, station management do when that happened? Well, this happened, as I said, it was a winter. It was right after Christmas time, and everybody had been gone for the Christmas break. This was like the first uh, show after the New Year holidays, and the whole office staff was back. But again, you got to remember, this was 7 in the morning. So our uh, general manager's secretary, Vilma, love her to death, right? She's uh, the Lonnie Anderson of FBR, making more money than everybody else at the station. She's out trimming, untrimming the Christmas tree up on a ladder, okay. right? And she's a uh, very... Um, I won't say her age, but she's your age, right? And she's very staid. <laughs> well, then she's like 43 years old, right? <laughs> very staid, or, uh, you know, and very quiet. Conservative, quiet, quiet that's woman. That's word, yep. Exactly. She's not, not zany at all. So she's up on the ladder, taking the ornaments off the tree, and not expecting anything to go on, when into the station walks this girl in a full-length fur coat, whips it open, and says, Where's my prize? <laughs> and Bill falls off the ladder, didn't speak to me for a year, <laughs> and... She said, must be Walker. You want the other studio back in the back. <laughs> now, from, uh, you were the court jester, you told me, for... Uh, for Kucinich's uh, uh, inaugural, yeah. When he was the mayor of Cleveland, Ohio. Well, he was the mayor at one time, yeah. Yep. Well, you came there, as a matter of fact, and... Went to uh, the, the, uh, the, the the breakfast the diner. Uh, the diner. Tony's Diner. Mm -hmm. Probably remember that. You may still be having shots for it, as a matter of fact. What is Kucinich doing now? I don't know. He's writing a book about his experiences as mayor of Cleveland and some of the things that Short happened book. while he was there. <laughs> anyway, yeah, well, <laughs> Short guy. Short guy, yeah. You replaced Don Imus when he came back to New York in right. WGIR. Yeah. Is that hard to step into a spot? It where... was, yeah. For the first year or so, you had a terrible time because Don was very well known. and He was only there. It seemed like he was there longer. He was there a year and a half, something like that. And then he came, and then he came back, you know, and then he came back to New York again. Now, you don't do stunts like he does. We've done a few stunts, yeah. We swam the Cuyahoga River, which... <laughs> It's not easy. If you've been to Cleveland, you know the Cuyahoga River, because for one thing, it caught fire at one time. Remember the little posters with Smokey the Car? I'll tell you something, John Lanigan. I'm doing no Cleveland jokes here tonight. You're not doing any? Because they get upset, and well, I don't blame them. I used to live there. Lot. It's a wonderful city, but the river did catch yeah, fire. Well, once. right after that gal, remember, swam up to Florida from Cuba, she swam in a shark cage. Diane Nyad, yes. Diane Nyad. We decided we would try the same thing, because it was really dangerous. In the, we had a carp cage design, which we got into and swam the Cuyahoga in a carp cage. The carp cage almost killed me. The river wasn't that bad, but the carp cage was terrible. It was barbed wire, and we tried to keep the carp out. So. And don't you do a thing on your show called flexing? Matter of fact, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I brought you a membership. This will make you All an honorary right. member in the Atlantic in the morning. Now, the idea of the flex is to find unusual mm. places, and I got a feeling you probably got some pretty unusual places. I uh, Yes, I do. I had a feeling you might. Um, a, I don't dare tell you what they are. A, well, you can anywhere you want. But you see them on television every night. No, yeah, I, we, saw, <laughs> we saw them pulling with your uh, mic there before. With that, there's your official membership card in the Flex Club. And every profession has a motto. Rec uh, disc jockeys do it in record time. That's right. Talk show hosts do it with their mouth. I mean, there's all kinds of ways you can get into actually flexing. And there's your... That runners you, do it longer. You, yep. That's it, runners. The divers do it deeper. Yep. Um, there's a lot of different... But you have to find unusual places. Midgets I mean, do it in microwaves. There's another one. <laughs>
<laughs> and they love it too, you know. So we have people give us unusual ways that they've found a flex. You are a rock disc jockey. Hmm? Well, that's yeah. KLOS is a KLOS is a rock and roll radio station. Do you have a playlist that you, only certain records can be played? Yes, but not yes, but not for me. I mean, they'll let me play just about anything I want, as long as I play it at high speed and backwards for hit, hidden Beatle messages. <laughs> <laughs> and get in 20 minutes of commercials yes, every hour. 20 minutes of commercials. People call in requests for commercials, Tom, like you wouldn't believe. Now, are you putting old Tom on, or is this... No, nice? I'm serious. They, they want to hear... They want to hear commercials for Victor's House of Barbecued Bats, <laughs> you know, where you can, get a, you can get a bucket of bats or a side order of bat feet. Boy, those are good know. bats. Very tasty bats, and, you know, you can eat upside down. We're talking about the food, not the customers, Tom. And uh, they also call in for, uh, oh, the Plunderer Motel, where there's a pirate in every room, free parking in the aft. Uh, they call in for speed eating, Evelyn's good speed eating dynamics, <laughs> where they've got locations in Belfort, Canoga Park, Torrance, West LA, West Hollywood, West Berlin, San Bernardino, North Hollywood, North Beach, North Central Mars, Pluto, Pasadena, and Hollywood. All over, you can go to Evelyn's good speed eating dynamics. They call in for all these commercials, and they say, forget the music, play some more of those spots. Please do us a favor.